Well, hello there. I want to remind you that God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of self-control. I want to remind you that God is not the God of chaos, but of peace. That God is in control. That God is for us and not against us. For it is by faith that we walk and not by sight. And without faith it is impossible to please God. So let us live. Let us walk by faith. And as you know, a few days ago was Veterans Day. And I trust in God's timing. For, I, for I've had these things laid on my heart, haven't had the opportunity to share them, but now I do. So I don't want us to be naive about the things of this world, for I am very grateful of those who have served and of those who have sacrificed. But I also do know that everything that we have comes from God. Right, Because nothing happens outside of the will of God. But I do appreciate all those from a sincere heart who served God by serving their country. But the thing I want to bring up, which most people probably won't agree with, is the fact that in Scripture we're called to be soldiers for Christ. Right, That we shouldn't hold allegiance to a country or to a region, but to Jesus Christ, who gave his life for us. And we should live our life for him, for he lives in us, if we truly believe. Correct? In a scripture, it shows that we should suffer for the, for the gospel as a good soldier in Christ Jesus. Okay, so I, I'd like to read a letter I wrote. I want to praise God for those who served, allowing for the freedom we have in this country that is clearly being taken for granted today. The freedom that so many have fought for and so many had died for is freely being given away today in this nation. Because as the world grows further from God, we grow further from the truth and we grow further from freedom. For freedom is not the ability to do whatever we want, but the ability to do what is right. And without Christ, we are slaves to sin, but Christ died for freedom to set us free from sin. So let us stand firm, not once again becoming a slave to sin. And we are called to freedom, so let's not use our freedom as an opportunity for the flesh but through love to serve one another. For freedom is never free, and that is because of sin. For anyone who sins is a slave to sin. But we were bought at a price, and Jesus Christ paid that price upon the cross to give us freedom from sin and death, to give the free gift of eternal life. Revelation 4.11 Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Whatever we have is a gift from God. I do appreciate those who have served. I do appreciate the freedoms in this country. But what are we doing with those? This country has used, the country of America has used its freedoms to indulge in the flesh and to act sinful and to rebel against God. Look at abortions. Look at the rate of killings and suicides. Look at how much drugs our country produces. And also, on top of that, we lead the world in producing porn, in producing drugs, in promoting and funding abortions. For those who have been given much, much will be expected. What, must, what more must we see to wake up? Our allegiance should not be to a place like this. 
but to Jesus Christ. I do appreciate our freedoms, and I understand, and I am aware, right? But the the freedoms that people fought for and sacrificed for are now being freely given away in the name of safety, in the name of being offended. So what is it we stand for? Who are we standing for? And who are we standing against? For Jesus said, if you are not with me, you are against me. I don't know. I would just like to ask you those questions. See, that's part of freedom, is being allowed to freely think for yourself. Right? Not always having to be told what to think. But see, God puts that desire for the truth inside of us. That we would desire the truth more than pleasure. More than feeling good about ourselves and living in a lie where we say, oh, I feel good about myself. What do we have to feel good about anymore? Where is our integrity? Where is our virtue? Look at the things that are being done in the open now, let alone behind closed doors. We need to repent. We need to turn back to God. Remember Jonah, Nineveh, that whole city, that whole big city was spared from God's wrath. But now we look around, we are using our freedoms to indulge in the flesh. And the Bible says that we should use our freedoms to serve one another, our gifts to build one another up. The greatest among you will be your servants. We need to get into the word. We need to study for ourselves. Show ourselves as one approved. Rightly dividing the word of God. Right? Because the spirit of truth lives within us. Guiding us into all truth. Most of us can't get through a 10 minute video without being distracted. Let alone sitting down and reading the Bible. But it's a work that God does on the inside of us. God will change those motives and desires within us. And he will make us and create in us a new heart. And he will take that heart of stone out of us and give us a new spirit. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. So let us stand strong. Remember. Freedom is not the ability to do whatever we want, but the ability to do what is right. And we can only be overcomers through Jesus Christ by walking in faith. So I hope you are encouraged. Seek God for yourself. God wants your worship. God doesn't want your talent. God doesn't want your your fleshly motivated work, your striving, the grinding, the doing this and the doing that. But God wants your heart. God desires your love. You know, I don't know how how we can impress God with the abilities that he has given us. And we brag about it as as if it wasn't given to us, but it's God who gives us the abilities we have and the talents we have and the things that we have all come from God and God alone. Understand that. Seek His grace. Seek His love in your life. Put Him first. Seek God first thing. Start your day with God. End your day with God. Put God first. First seek his kingdom and his righteousness. Right? And all these things will be added unto you. We often strive so much for for gaining what we need to live. But right? What, What does it profit a man to gain the world but lose a soul? And what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Nothing. Nothing. That's the truth. It's nothing. But I just, I just hope the, I just hope you're encouraged. I hope you're blessed. I hope God spoke to you through this short message. 
and in Jesus' name. Amen.